First Robotics held its regional championships in Rochester Saturday. Time Warner Cable News reporter Jordan Mazza tells us why the participants were excited. Can't contain the excitement. I, even though I'm hurting with every with every step, I just have to keep going. Like it just, I just have to see what's going on, fixing the robot, watching robots compete. It's beautiful. The first Robotics Finger Lakes Regionals have brought thousands of students and their parents here to RIT. After six weeks of construction, the robots are ready to play. It's finally the big day after weeks of nonstop work. Teams from across Western New York and Canada are here hoping to make it to the championships. First organizers say it's a chance to prove science can be as exciting as sports. As you can hear in the background, it's not a science fair. We have a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. We're playing music all the time. We got kids dancing. They're doing serious work, and, and they have serious robots to play the game. But they also learn how to have a great time. It's a fun way to bring in students who might not otherwise be encouraged to pursue engineering. There's more and more girls doing this, and now our driver is a girl. So I think it's pretty amazing that the girls are now stepping up. Engineers say they're impressed by the next generation training for their career. I think they're doing a lot more uh, inclusivity of bringing together everyone together into the sciences, and I hope it continues because today it all shows, and I think everybody should be proud. The greatest stories are the ones that from kids that never thought they could do this, didn't understand what it was all about. Then they got involved in the team, and it kind of sucks you in, gets you going. To see it all it's metal and wood glory. It is just amazing. I am so happy that I actually joined. And this isn't just for the camera. I'm actually really excited every day about this. The regional winners here compete in next month's worldwide championships in St. Louis. Jordan Mazza, Time Warner Cable News.